I've covered our table with some Manhattan blend to be able to roll it out um, so that it doesn't stick to the table. And there's our dough. As you can see, um, it's, it's stretchy. It's not gonna be as stretchy as regular glutinous dough, but it's stretchy enough that we're gonna be able to work with it. Um, so I would say mix it until it's a smooth consistency with no lumps. It will still be sticky, but it won't be super wet like a batter. It's more like a dough. So again, we have our clump of dough and we're gonna roll this into a ball. Once we have our ball, we're going to roll it into a rope. Starting with one hand and then using your second hand to stretch it out. So start at the middle and roll out. And if you find that your dough starts sticking to your table, just add a little bit more flour or blends by Orly Manhattan Blend. So there we have our rope and now we're going to tie the ends together. So we're going to connect the ends like so. Use our three middle fingers to turn it on its front and roll it underneath. And it sticks together really nicely. I have my water wash and you can do this with a, spritz, a spritz bottle also and just spritz water all over all the bagels. So this moisture will prevent our dough from drying out when it's proofing. And when I say proofing, I mean rising in warm temperature. Usually I like to proof my bread in about 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So our bagels were rising for about 35 minutes and you can see they've grown in size. You can see that when I touch them, they're very nice and fluffy and they definitely feel like they've been um, proofing. They're not overproofed because they haven't started ripping and bubbling. So this is perfect. This is exactly what you want them to look like. So we're gonna take each bagel and just drop it in the water. We're gonna do three at a time so that we don't crowd the pot. And what we do is we boil the bagels on each side for about 30 seconds. And we're just using our slotted spoon. And now these are gonna go straight into our oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll bake these until they're nice and brown and golden on the outside. Ta-da! Look how beautiful our bagels look, our gluten-free bagels. And thanks for watching.